good good morning happy friday <laughs> good morning happy thursday you guys we have not done a thursday launch since does anyone remember when we've done a thursday launch we used to do them fairly regularly but we have been on fridays due to the way the deliveries have been happening so it's a thursday and we're launching and it's a really good launch and immediately following this live, I hop on a flight to head to Pennsylvania for my kids um, to see friends for my kids' spring break. So, or fall break. Oh my gosh, not spring break. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, it's a big launch. I'm going to try my best not to talk a lot, but we all know how that goes because I do know I have to actually make a flight and not miss a flight. So, who's on? Pamela's here from South Carolina. Tamar, is it Tamar? Or t yeah, Tamar from Colorado. Love Colorado. We've got some Texas people on. Mandy, good morning. Tara's on. Sherry from Illinois. Tara, happy birthday. She has. She said it's her birthday. It is a great day for a birthday to have a launch on your birthday. What could be better than <laughs> better than that? So Stacey says excited for this launch. Marie's on. Good to see you, Marie. Um, you guys, this launch, she's just that excited for this launch. This is a good one, a really good one, because some of my all-time favorite things, best designs, um, are here in this launch. So good morning. For those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Melissa. I'm the owner and uh, designer of graceandlace.com, a women's apparel company where we make and design items that help you look and feel your best. So we have a lineup of... A lot of goodies launching today. Some skirts, some dresses, some jeans that I cannot wait to tell you about. A new style denim jacket. Did I mention a dress? Dress, skirt, and a coat. Plus, to start off, when the girls are about to come in from the back, we're going to show you all of these items, all of our designs, on several different sizes um, and show them styled and whatever. But before we get started, we have a launch day deal today, right? We started this this season. 50% off um, our, hold on, cable knit, take that off, our cable knit um, hats or the little fingerless gloves. So we have two different color options in these and they don't come together. So you can get 50% off the gloves, 50% off the hat, the beanie, um, fun little cable knit design, little palm here at the top, and then the fingerless gloves. So these are, you guys, instead of 20 something, whatever, they're what, 15 now, the launch day deal. So they're fingerless, um, but you can fold the little flap over, okay, or fold that back. I'm actually bringing these this weekend because, you know, it's a lot colder in Pennsylvania than it's in Texas. I think it's going to be back up into the 80s and 90s again here in Texas. It's been a nice couple of cool days, but I'm bringing these because we're also going to the Penn State game where I have to wear white. These are fleece lined, so super warm and cozy. 50% off, making these 15 bucks. So we have them, um, the girls are gonna come out. They're just gonna show you. They're all cozied up. They're all feeling, they're all feeling like winter around here, okay? So, <laughs> so we just look, um, no, they look good. They're all cozy and warm. We're acting like it's freezing, although it's not here, okay? So for those of you who are in freezing tent, temps, and then here's the sage color as well. So 15 bucks, 50% off for the launch day deal. Thank you, girls. Again, these are just items, you guys. These are, if you want to start already thinking about gifting, stocking stuffers, if you've got someone in college, if you have, you know, you really can't. These are, these are the, that type of item where I feel like um, you just need to have some, <laughs> okay? So 15 bucks, but um, this is really cool how that just kind of flops over and flops back. All right, let's get started because I am going to be a talking machine and you guys know I'm going to overheat because... Like I said, it is not cold here today. It was cool this morning. We're getting, we had a couple cool days where you could actually like put something long sleeve, long sleeve here on in Texas. So we're gonna, are we, what are we starting with? Are we starting with, can we talk about this first? I can't talk about this first. I have to talk about the utility jacket, which that is just fine because I will be more than happy to talk about our utility jacket. So starting with this, you guys, if you know me or if you don't know me, I'll just, I'll just say it again. I was born and raised, lived half of my life <laughs> in the frozen state of Minnesota, beautiful state, and it's got beautiful lakes and it has the best falls, but it is cold a lot of time, okay? Then I moved to Texas where it's hot way too much <laughs> for the rest of the half of my life. And then uh, we spend every chance that we get in the mountains of Colorado. So I'm very familiar with layering <laughs> coat warmth needs during all the different seasons, whether it be spring, transition to spring, 
fall, transition to winter. Okay, there's so many in Minnesota, you have so many seasons, which is so beautiful, but there is a need for different types of warmth, okay, or jacket layers. Now, we're gonna start with this really quick. I'm not a big fan of jacket, I'm not a big fan of coats. One, because I feel like for the most part they're restricting and they're bulky, okay? So when I design a coat, I'm designing, how can I make a coat that is not those things, okay? So we created our utility jacket. It has all of the details of a really cool standout utility thing. Okay, so you got kind of the utility vibes here. You got a big puffy fleece lined hood in the back. You have all the pockets, okay? You've got this pocket here. There's a snap, really deep pocket with a snap closure here. Okay, so the, the pocket here on the side is just fake, but the inside is really deep and real. I'm gonna put this on in a second, but we're just gonna talk about all the details, okay? Um, big zip, large over snap pocket. The best part about this design, no, two best things about this design is it has an interior cinching waistline right here that is optional, okay? So you can pull this little line right here, which gives you cinching and creates waist shaping at the waist. A lot of times you see utility jackets, a lot of times a lot of jackets, and most jackets can make you look big and boxy. This creates a custom fit every time by you controlling if you wanna cinch that up or not. And just put a simple little knot in it, like we've done right there to keep it in place once you have it with what, once you have it how you like it. Two colors in that, that was the olive. Here's just the standard charcoal, okay? And like I said, snaps all the way up. I'm gonna throw this, throw it on for you. All right, so here's the deal with a coat, you guys. Like I said, I don't love, even when it's freezing in um, Colorado, I still would like rather not put a coat on. I wanna put a hoodie on. So what this is, is really like the best, warmest, stretchiest, fleece lined hoodie made into a coat, okay? So look at this. Okay, you have all those details. You have this like stand up collar, even right here. All right, I've got to get, I've got to get, I've got double hood scenario going on. You guys know, you got to pull your hoods out. If you're gonna, if you're gonna put, a, put a jacket on over a hoodie, okay? And then zipping up. So it's, it is, it's honestly, it's one part coat and one part hoodie. So it's all the comfort of a hoodie, but in a very structured coat. So you can snap all those. You have really, really deep pockets coming here down at the sides. Here's the bust pockets, which are functional as well. And then look at this, this line is not cinched. And you guys can see, it has a very straight look, but give yourself a little bit of shaping. Okay, just kind of cinch yourself in a little bit at the waist. So here's the deal. I will wear this in like the coldest of cold winter. Now, below zero, I'm probably, you're probably like, I'm probably putting a parka, parka on like a down parka, okay? Something like actually cold. Skiing, okay, things like that. Yes, I'm for, <laughs> to force myself to wear a real jacket. But in the everyday, like running to the grocery store, <laughs> running to like go pick up the kids or whatever, when I don't wanna be in a restricted jacket, I don't wanna sit, I don't like sitting in my car in the driver's seat being in a restricted jacket. So I look like I have, and it's very warm and cozy, but it literally is like all the comfort of a hoodie, okay? Um, so there's what I did. See how I just drew that in just a little bit? to create that shaping that it has all the darts, all the lines. It is stretchy and it's warm. I'm already gonna start to <laughs> eat in here, okay? So um, the hood, Grace, is not removable, but it is fleece. Actually, I should take off, I should actually pull that up. Let's bring the girls out and I'm gonna actually take off the hoodie so you can, I can pull up the hood and see it better. Okay, um, Kylie is in this. Okay. So, oh, you have like, we were just twinning. Oh, we had under it. Okay. Um, so she's got the same hoodie that I just had, which wasn't intentional. I just happened to throw it on that way, but I was going to throw this on to show you the hood a little bit better. She's in her normal size, small mm -hmm. and in the olive color. Um, so we did two neutrals really with this. I mean, olive's a color, but it's like a neutral color. And then, you know what? You can't really go, to, go wrong with a charcoal gray either. So, um, comfort fit. It has the adjustable features and it has stretch. Okay, so she's in small. What am I in? Am I in small? I don't want to try. See, hold on. <laughs> look at me. What am I in? I didn't even look before uh, I put it on. Uh, I don't. Where's the tag at? Oh, is wait. it? Uh, there it is. Small. Okay. 
this one's a small. I have the greens then extra small too, so I can wear it either. So here's the deal. I would wear this. Some, some people are like, what's your, what's the temperature rating? I would absolutely wear this 30s, 30s below. I, I But I'm not like, like if I'm going to be, like if I was someone in New York and had to walk the streets of New York during a snowstorm, okay, that's, that's a different scenario. This for some of you Canadians or like super mid Minnesotans, okay, where you're like outside and having to like stay warm for a really long time in the dead of winter, okay, maybe this isn't the best. You, you need like a down park for those types of situations. But this offers all of the warmth and the structure to be a true coat. But like I say, it's in like a stretchy hoodie type of fleece lined. Okay, see all the fleecy in there? Um, material. So for me personally, Texas, this is the warmest jacket you'll ever need ever need in Texas. It doesn't get cold enough for needing anything warmer than this. Okay. And then to me in Colorado, I will absolutely be wearing this. Um, my morning walks underneath a hoodie with a hoodie underneath it or whatever. Um, you can bundle this thing completely up. I'm just going to act like I'm real cold. Okay. Who's the Carly? Are you back there? Yes. Carly's back there too. Okay. Are you in your normal size large? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I would say it is a true to size just gonna do this here, okay? I'm <laughs> really cold. It's a true to size fit jacket. If you're between sizes, I feel like I can't take myself seriously in this head on right now, okay? Or if you're between sizes and you plan to layer heavy, like if you know, you know what, I am a northerner, northwestern, northeastern, okay, where you're really cold, but the, you like South, Tennessee, Florida people, Texas people, like you, you don't, this is a great year round, or not year round, but day, winter coat for you, okay? If you're gonna layer heavy, or know you wanna bundle up in it, and you're between sizes, I'd possibly size up. So, this is the small on me, and I can do the extra small as well. Carly's in her normal size large, large back there, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, I'm gonna try to, um, uh, oh, so many, so many questions. I can't answer all of them all. Okay. Um, Dreama, I had the small on in the cloud hoodie. We're gonna talk about that next. Okay, this is the small in the coat, in the utility coat. Okay, so you can kind of see, nice, comfortable fit. I can put a hoodie under this, no problem. Not really snug on me. I created more cinching at the waist for me personally. Okay, and then I can do, I can do, um, I can do extra small as well. So. Well, I will probably own the extra small here. I'm like, like so, where am I shopping list? The extra small here in Texas, because truth be told, I'm not going to really put anything more underneath this, <laughs> except like a light thermal or a long sleeve or something like that, which would be totally fine for me in the extra small. So, um, and then of course, you guys, you can set your cinch based on what you want. So knowing that information, um, if you are know you're going to layer, or that's a potential to layer a lot, um, you know, maybe you do want to size up. I would say though it has a, like it's a very just nice basic, look at that, okay? See how this even comes up high here? You have that nice little detail that hood. So here's extra small on me. So a little bit closer to my body, nothing is restricting, sleeves aren't short, I still have room in the sleeves. So I would say that I'm generally between an extra small and a small, and I can go with either. If I was in Minnesota, or in Colorado, or knew that I was in a place where I would likely put sweater, thicker sweaters, hoodies, sweatshirts, multiple layers, things like that underneath, then I would go to the small. So I would err on the side of possibly going up, definitely if you're between, um, knowing that, but I can, the extra small fits me just fine. And isn't it a great fit? Look at how it's just, I mean, I took the cinch line out, but it's just flattering, okay? So flattering. The flat pockets stay down. They do close with a snap. I did mention you do want to close it up um, or, you know, keep it open. But nice, nice, nice deep pockets to keep your hands warm, okay? Very deep, very deep pockets. Someone said, is there deep pockets? Okay, it's stretchy. Yes, there is stretch in the material. Okay, so I wouldn't say it's like super stretch, but it's like our stretchy hoodie type, type of material, yes. Okay, any other questions? I don't know who's, wait, I didn't bring everyone out, right? Michelle's still waiting? Okay, Michelle's coming out in, in extra large, okay? So, Texas, you just throw your thermal on and put this layer on, okay? And you that you're gonna be plenty warm in this in Texas. Even when we had that freezing weather, I feel like you would be totally warm in this, okay? So comfort fit, between sizes, probably go up, or if you want extra, extra room, um, 
extra, extra room. Um, some people like their coats. You know, usually when I buy a coat, I go up two just for that extra factor. But like I said, depending on where you live, I know we have a lot of Canadians, okay? Some of you Canadians are like, that is not, that is not a winter coat for, can for Canada. It might not be, especially if you're outside a lot. But if you're just hopping in and out of the car, you're running into the grocery store. Even if I was in Minnesota right now, I would still only throw this on over my hoodie that I wear during the day, to be honest, because I don't like bulky, puffy uh, things that are constricting when I'm driving or taking up all the space that I'm like fighting, like where's my bag and then I, you know, like I just don't like, I'd rather just hop in my car, freeze until I'm there, freeze for the few seconds that I'm outside until I get in the grocery store. So this way you, I have something to throw on that is cozy warm but not to the level of like true parka, true downfilled, that type of stuff, okay? So yeah, Tanya says, this is a fall jacket in Canada. Absolutely, this would be a perfect, perfect transitional jacket, okay? Before you get buried in 20 feet of snow, um, would, be, would be a perfect jacket for up there, okay? Texas, this is the warmest thing you'll ever need. Okay, any other questions? Um, oh, Kathleen says, are you able to wear the hoodie under? I can, um, let me... Let me try that. We're going to talk about the hoodie next, so I might as well put that back on again. Um, under the extra small, I think it's going to feel a little bit tight. Also, this isn't like the thickest. This is the uh, this is our um, cloud yarn, so this isn't the thickest hoodie. So if I had like a traditional hoodie, I would say I probably don't love that under the extra small. Let's see. This is extra small. Let me put this on. Let's see. Okay. I would wear it in winter here in Alberta for in and out of the car. Um, yeah, Lori, that's, I mean, honestly, if you're like outside skiing, playing with your kids or, you know, outside at a, then, then you like have to really, really bundle up. Okay. So Kathleen, hold on. Let me make sure I've got all my hoods. Um, there we go. So this is a thinner type hoodie under the extra small. This is not too confining. This is fine. But I would say if I had like traditional hoodie, like, the oversized type of kind, you know, like in the thicker material, maybe like Hanes or Gildan type of hoodie where they're like thicker and more like stiffer, that I would definitely go to the small in. So it definitely is more fitted with the hoodie underneath. And so I think the small offers me more flexibility to layer more under, but this one isn't too tight, but you can tell the extra small with the hoodie under it does, you know, fill it up, fill it up, fill it out a lot more, okay? Okay. Oh, any other questions on this? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty dang amazing. You guys, I'm telling you, it really is. Whether you just wear it open, do your cinch lines. Okay. Cinch it back a little bit. Just, just do yourself like a little bit of a loop knot and then it will stay and won't retract. Okay. So cinch that up and let it kind of sit close against you. Um, really, really super flattering, easy to throw on. And again, like this is, I would totally wear this like around a campfire or whatever, those times that you would maybe just even throw a hoodie on. Um, but there you go. See that? See creating how that, how that creating that shape, um, at the waist is so flattering, um, when it's open or when it's closed. Okay. All right. We're going to move on. <laughs> Does have any other questions on this? I would say I would err on the size if you're, if you are between sizes and you know that you're going to stick or layer heavier things under, then I would go up in this one. Or if you just know in general, like you're hippier, curvier, bustier, and you're between, then I would go up. I'm pretty balanced, like I'm not busty. Um, and so that allows me to go down even with a lighter bit of a hoodie underneath. This isn't a real, real thick one. So that's why I can do that. Okay. Does that help? Okay, um, Jessica, inside pockets. There is not. We made this one extra deep. We couldn't sew this one every, we try every time we can. This one we couldn't do the construction of the hidden inside, but we made sure to do this one extra big. Actually, you can see how extra big it is. And we put the snap here. So if you did, you can easily drop a cell phone um, into this and then snap it closed for that extra security. It's super deep. Your phone will sink way down to the bottom. You don't have to worry about it popping out on this one. Okay. 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 Um, Jenny says, please make more true extra small for those of you that are five, three and under. Um, I love the jacket. Um, you're on four inches taller. Oh shoot. I can't read the rest of the message. Um, Barbara, if you're wide shouldered, I don't think you need to size up unless you're between sizes and broad, then maybe, but there's good stretch in the material. And I would say it's not, 
it's not an oversized fit. So whoever was saying that they're 115, they won one, they're 5'3", 115, I'm 5'5", five five and 125. Um, and so I know people can carry their weight different, but I would say to someone who's 115, I wouldn't say that the extra small is gonna look um, enormous on them by any chance, by any, any, any say in that, okay? Can you, can you please let us know? Um, this is, okay, so this, yes and no, oh, sorry, <laughs> I read it to you. Um, is this, this is not exactly our sweatshirt material. We, our sweatshirt, like our buffalo, our, um, what is that? The foiled uh, starry sky, all those, no. That's an, that's an, more of an indoor quality. That's lighter, has more rayon, a little bit more flimsy. This is thicker and warmer and denser, <laughs> okay? So no, not the same, but, but similar in that the material does have um, some stretch with it but it's more of an outer wear quality for a fleece, if that makes sense, for a fleece, like a hoodie type material. Um, it's a lot, a lot sturdier, made for more of wearing outside and not just like a, a hoodie, okay? The, the whole thing is fleece. The entire thing is fuzzy fleece. Someone said, what is it lined with? So everything from, except for the hood, has the Sherpa, okay? So that kind of gives you that pop of texture but everything else is lie is fully fleece so all the sleeves are the full um polar fleece too okay okay <laughs> Deborah, it's it's thursday and we are launching on a thursday instead of a friday she's like is it friday and i just missed it <laughs> okay okay all right any other questions on that we got to move on so we still have a lot more to talk about <laughs> okay um so michelle the the same material it's that same hoodie material throughout the same fleece throughout the entire thing except for the hood has that fun Sherpa in it. So same with this one. It is all that soft fleece, fleece material. Okay, let's move on. We are moving on to the cloud pullover. This is, this one, this actual one is um, my, my sample that I've been wear testing for since whenever that like cold, freezing <laughs> cold storm in Texas for forever ago. Um, this is our cloud material. This is the same yarn as the cloud Cardi, Cloud Cardi, uh, Cloud, Cloud Cardi, <laughs> that just launched, but it's a different knit. It's not Pointel, it's actually a jersey knit, okay? So it's, um, let me bring one up close to you, okay? As you can see, so it's really dense, it's nice and it's like so, so, so squishy, and so super cozy, okay? Um, this, we call it Alpine Snow. It is not a bright white. In fact, do I have something that I can hold up to what is white? There is white. Here's Alpine Snow. Okay, so it's a good mix of like an off-white. It is not yellow. It's not creamy. It's not buttery. It's a really good, like almost has, it just has a good neutral color to it that's not yellow. I wish I could, oh, here. So like something that's cream, here's cream. This is a good comparison. Okay, so it almost has like a gray, dustier undertone versus a yellow, more of, you know, a cream. So it's more to like the, I don't know, more to like the dustier side of like a gray, a tan, and a, a cream, but not being yellow. Okay, so Alpine Snow, that's just what we call it. Side slits at the side, easy kind of drapey, just cozy fit with a large hood. Okay, look at this. So if you really want to like hop outside and you just gotta grab the mail and you wanna cozy up on something, you can throw the hood on. Otherwise, you just kind of sit it up here on your shoulders and you just have this easy kind of pop, pop over type um, design. Give it a little front tuck. So let's bring out the girls in this easy fit sleeves. Okay, it's got a little bit of a bell, has a little bit of ribbing here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know, am I in the, am I in the smaller? Sorry. Look for me again. Yes, small. Yes, small. Okay. I can do extra small too, which I'll try mm -hmm. on for a second. You're in the small too, small. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So cozy factor, like 110% on this thing. Okay. Wrapping up the couch, throwing it on in the morning. It has that really squishy, really, really nice feel. You can wash and dry this, put it in your laundry bag and it washes up well. It stays just like the cloud blanket. Okay. Same thing, except that one's double knit. Okay. This is the jersey knit, but give it a little front tuck, throw it on with a pair of jeans, throw it on with loggers pajama bottoms. I mean, you cannot, cannot go wrong with this one. Okay. Okay. Kylie in a small, I'm in a small. 
Um, no, the robe is a little bit different. Yes, um, back I will try that on in a second. Um, is it the same color and material as last year's house coat? If you're asking Natasha about the robe, it's not the same as the robe. The robe was actually co a cozy, that's like more like this color and it's not the same material as that either or the weight of that too. So, okay. Um, yes, I <laughs> know, right? You just want to kind of like, you want to like wrap yourself. Okay. This has like, it, it's around your body. So it's everything that we like kind of talked about in the wrapping of the Cardi, the Cloud Cardi now is actually like fully consuming your body. Okay. So Carly's in her normal size large. Mm -hmm. It has that kind of loose and easy fit. If you're between sizes go up, if you want even more oversized and loose, or if you want down and more, you know, sitting closer to your body too. Okay. But we made these to kind of be billowy. We didn't want tight sleeves. Can you see that? We just, we, it's like, you just, this is what my, this is what my daughter did when she put her hoodie on today. She like pulled them down and just, you just, this, this feel and kind of just drape and hang. Um, and it has a little bit of the side slits, whether you put a tee under this, put it with a pair of leggings, just throw it on with jeans. It's great with jeans, just kind of sits and hangs. Okay. Someone asked if I can throw on extra small. I do have that for you guys too. Um, Holly can do, Holly's not here today. She could do, she would do, I bet she would do this small in this because she's taller than me. She's like five, seven, five, seven and a half. And I'm guessing she, if she would want a little bit more length. Um, I'm going to go extra small for you guys so you can see in this. One second. Okay. <laughs> and Heather says it needs matching. It needs matching cloud um, joggers to go with. Okay. Oh, there. Um. Chaya, if that's your name, they're actually not, the robe isn't cloud. Um, the robe was, is not this cloud material. That was just called like cozy, cozy something material. Okay. So here's extra small on me. So gets, you know, a little bit narrower, a little bit closer to my body, a little bit less billowy, more, you know, I would say like more of a true to size type fit. Um, that caught up on my hood. Um, so you know, I can wear this one just fine. Nothing is, nothing is tight. I would say if you want, if you're between sizes and you want a less oversized look, um, then go down because this one looks less oversized. Okay. Um, if you want, if you're between sizes and like the oversized look, then definitely go up. Um, Michelle, this material, just like the Cloud Cardi will, um, grow if it's hung. So you can like, if you're going to pull on it or stretch on it or anything like that, I mean, look at that. I just pulled on, pulled on the yarn. So it's, it's so gushy and it's so soft. So don't store it hung, store it flat or folded or throw it in a bin somewhere in your drawer or your closet or whatever. But yes, this will, you can lengthen and elongate this material by pulling by the snip, by pulling on it. It's super stretchy. Very, very, very stretchy. So nothing is short on like no, nothing, even the extra small on me, just, it just kind of goes where, where you put it. Okay. All right. Uh, Carly came out. She was in large. Michelle, you're in extra large in this, right? Okay. Super cozy. Okay. Whether you just throw this on in the workplace, like I said, or with pajamas or loungers or joggers or whatever. Um, I'm actually probably going to wear this on the plane today because it's that cozy. Um, and we're going somewhere cold. So just, uh, whether you want something oversized or more true to size in between sizes, that's what you do. Okay. Okay. Um, we made this one, you guys, some, someone asked about the length. Um, when I designed this one, we didn't want, we've got the long hardies, you guys. I, I mean, the long tunic sweaters. Get yourself the bamboo hooded cowl, which is similar to this. It's a long style, okay? I wanted this to just be able to sit nicely with jeans where you don't have to tuck it in. You, this sits very, very nice. Um, both sizes sit, sits very, very nice without tucking it. And that's what we wanted with the length on this. If you did want more length or wanted to wear it with leggings, throw this with, throw this over a t-shirt. In fact, if I, th I think I'm gonna wear that on the flight today. I'm gonna wear my leggings. I'll have a long t-shirt and then just throw this over the top. It's loose and easy fitting drop shoulder style. So it just kind of hangs and falls. Not, I didn't want this to consume us. We've got the bamboo hooded cowl, which consumes every part of you and every long length. Okay. This is hits that closet of just being able to throw it on pop it over a pair of jeans, not have to worry about tucking it or anything like that. It just kind of throw it on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Can we go on? Any other questions? If you guys have more questions, I think our team is answering as they come through. If they miss your question, make sure to go on our Facebook VIP page and ask there. 
Chaya, I'm not, I, I, it's, I 100% know it's not the same. It's not the same color and it's not the same material as that robe. So I do not believe this was called cloud. If it was, it's a, it's a similar material, but not the same. It is the same as the, the cloud robe that just, or the cloud um, Cardi that just launched, but it's not the same knit. That was an open knit point tell. In fact, if someone wants to throw me one, Maddie, would you mind throwing me one of the, um, the Cardi's, the cloud Cardi's? This one is a jersey knit, so it's it's dense. Um, it's very dense and doesn't have that open at the the open at point tell is is beautiful on the um, cardi. This one just is that flat knit, but you get all the gushiness um, and the softness in this material still too. Okay, okay, let's go on to the. So, there we go. Okay, so here you'll see the difference really quick before we go on. Okay, this one is all point tell. This is all the point tell knit, which is really beautiful. Coming all the way down. Okay, all the way through the back. There's cabling, there's ribbing, there's point tell stitching, there's open knit. Okay, you can see that really well. See all the point tell work on that. This is just a flat, this is a flat jersey knit. So same material, but in the flat um, jersey knit. Just like the blanket. That's a great way. The cloud blanket. If you got the cloud blanket, if you don't have the cloud blanket, get yourself the cloud blanket because it's the best thing to wrap up in. The next best thing is to throw yourself actually something on your body that you can wear around your house if not if you're not um, actually wearing the blanket around your house. Okay, let's move on. The ribbed sweater dress. Okay, this is, you guys, this material has PBT in it. This is actually of what is like a very, very fine mock bamboo yarn okay so it's not don't don't register bamboo with our with other bamboo that we use in it's a mock bamboo but what it does is create this really really softness if you are sensitive to sweater dresses sensitive to sweaters this is one you will not be sensitive to it is so so soft in fact I put this one yet on yesterday and I was like oh I forgot how much I love 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 the feel of the sweater in fact i really wish we would have made this in, in an actual sweater and not just a sweater dress because it is really really soft on the body but it's a good structured fine gauge knit and it's gonna be hard to see it's black but it's ribbed yeah, you can see all the ribs coming down which allows for great great stretch in this it has a single um is that a turtleneck? That's not a mock neck. That's a turtleneck, right? But not a turtleneck where you fold it over. You can fold this over if you want a small short thing. But again, it's not tight and it just sits up really nice. Everyone needs, this is like your standard black dress. <laughs> you have a little black dress that you need for winter, okay? Work, church, wherever. Um, this just is not too tight. It's not baggy and loose. It fits very nice. And then it's that soft, very, very, very soft material. Ribbed all the way down to the cuff, the neck. The neck is not ribbed. And then the cuffs are not, um, not ribbed. Can you tell this ribbing stuff? There we go. The ribbing stops right there. And then a little bit here in the, the bottom too. Like rib, um, go to that flat knit in the bottom too. So I, am I going to put this on? Let me see I can do the extra small I'm not sorry guys I'm not gonna take my jeans off because I think we're gonna talk about like the jeans and the jeans max and I don't want to do a million changes but I, I I mean I guess I do a million I, I do a million changes <laughs> anyway even if, so, even if I say I'm not gonna do them okay um, this is extra small so I'm gonna show you we created we didn't want this to be like super super huggy or curves but we didn't create a box either so we have this I don't want to get lipstick on it Okay, this is extra small. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one, it just feels so, so good. Okay, okay. Um, Jen is asking, can you tell me where the sleeve measurement starts since it has a drop shoulder? Um, Kylie? On this one? So start the sleeve measure. No, this one, oh, sorry. This one doesn't have a drop shoulder. Right, this set in. Right, this is set in. I don't, she might, you might be asking about something else. Definitely ask, or this one does not have a drop shoulder. So, oh, you might be asking about the cloud, um, which you can ask if you want to hop over to our VIP page. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I know, I know this is a look, but um, you don't want to go through the extra effort. Okay. It has that. You see that kind of higher um, turtleneck. I'm, I'm going to, you guys know I'm picky. I don't like that to be too tight. It's not too tight. 
Um, the extra, I can wear this extra small and this gives me, darn it, yes I am, hold on. Kylie, you can yes. come out. I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> Okay, Kylie's in small, mm -hmm. um, and this is, Kylie does our tech design, and she did the tech design on this, yes. and you guys, it's it's fabulously fit. Mm -hmm. The the um, the ribbing allows for it to have shape to your body without being, like, super huggy, clingy, okay? Tiny, so, yeah. yeah, so she still has, can you see? It's hard to see because it's black. <laughs> but you can tell it's not, like, bodycon. Mm -hmm. There's not, like, it, it's sitting, like, close to her curves, but not being, like, suck you in huggy. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice, comfortable fit. Nice sleeve length on this. She's in small. I'm in extra small. I can go to the small as well, too, but I like the extra small fit because you guys can see. Can you mm, It's so hard to see. <laughs> like, it's so black. It's not body con, but the ribbing allows. Can you see this? Look at this ribbed. Okay, it, it retracts back to your body nicely but doesn't have that real like bodycon cling, okay? It's really, really nice fit. This is extra small, again, on me. So it does, you guys can see, it does highlight a little bit, um, you know, sit a little bit closer to my body with the curves, but I'm not, which, here's the thing. If you want, to, want it to be more bodycon and want it to be closer, then you can likely size down, okay? Or if you're straighter and don't have um, you're not super curvy. You could probably size down in this too. It does have, it has a lot of stretch. That's part of what the comfort factor is um, in this. And then it sits just kind of above the knee. I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, really nice fit. Nice sleeve. Again, not, it, we did this on purpose. We really did not want this to be a really tight, tight fit bodycon dress. We wanted you to feel comfortable and but still kind of you know have a little bit of that curve highlighting okay next <laughs> carly <laughs> i'm talking about myself pretty so whether you do like leggings under this or whether you do a heel or you could do a booty you could totally you can warm this all up you can do a jacket over it you could do a je denim jacket over it you could do a cardi over this i mean the the possibilities are completely endless in how to wear this dress but i mean in the winter time throw a pair of leggings do tall pair of boots under this throw like a warm like vest or something over it and cozy it right up or for the workplace add some jewelry and do a heel and you have like a dressier date night look too okay so carly's in her large right mm -hmm. normal size and again super see she's super stretchy in here it's going to retract back to her body but she's not feeling confined it's not like a suck you in compression okay it's just like a gentle comes back and sits nice and close to you without being confined okay <laughs> all right um carly's a 10 yes she's a 10 um she, she, can she come did you did you see her jocelyn she was just out um did you see her in it and how I pulled it out from her? They're like, can Carly come back? <laughs> come back. You can see? So it's not, look it. See, we're not like sucking you in. This is intentional. We're not like sucking you in, but it's retracting to kind of give you that little bit of a shape, but not be, like you feel comfortable in this, right? Mm -hmm. It's Very not, comfortable. you don't feel like you're like, oh, everything's mm -hmm. showing or I'm hugging, you know, right? It, it just kind lays of. Lays very nice. Lays very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she's, yes, size 10. Okay. Okay, does that help you guys? Okay. Um, the other questions. Did you say she was in, um, oh, sorry. Kylie, who was just out, was in a size small, and Kylie is a size six in a size small. I am a size four. I can wear some twos. I am in the extra small, and I can do the small as well, too, but this one doesn't feel too, too clingy on me, um, so I like the fit of this one. But, yes, you could absolutely, you could belt this. Okay, and that would look super cute belted as well too. All right. Um, they're asking if Carly can wear the medium. Um, Carly, do you think you can wear the medium? Would you recommend choosing a size according to what you wear on top? Um, Andrew, it's fairly balanced. And because it's so stretchy, look at this. Okay. Because it's so stretchy, I'd really just go with your normal size unless you're not curvy. If you tend to be more of a straighter figure, um, and really don't have much curves, thin size down in this one. Otherwise, stay in your normal size, and in your normal size, it will ha it will accommodate just fine to if you're busty or hippy, um, and still not really be too clingy because of that. Okay, <laughs> because it can do that. 
Okay, um, and then Michelle's in this one. Okay, and this will be, I know this is just gonna look stunning on her, okay, too. She's got, you can layer it with a jacket, layer it with a jacket, throw a vest over it. You can dress it up as much as you want, dress it down as much as you want. You can do leggings under this, okay? Um, really, really soft, but Michelle's curvy up top. She's busty at top, and she's not needing to size up or anything because it just, the material has really, really great stretch in it, okay? Does this help you guys? <laughs> Carly, how tall are you? She's 5'6". Carly is 5'6". Okay. So it really is a comfortable fit. I didn't want, I didn't want the body con. Okay. I did not want the, we didn't want this to like feel like you're confined and sucked in. We want you to feel nice, cozy, softest yarn ever with a lot of stretch. Now, some of you might prefer to size down knowing that this is that, there is that much stretch. That's totally fine. So some of you who are like, some of you might be able to size down a full size in this just fine. If you know, you know what, I do want it to shape me more or I do want to use more of the stretch than size down in this. We just in general, all of us in the fitting really liked more of the comfort, um, how this lays and doesn't, you're not really using a lot of stretch. So if you know that, knowing that information, many of you, I mean, Right? I can I literally fit like two of me in there if I had to. Um, but it just retracts nicely with that rib and sits really nice, really nice on the body. Okay. It looks so good. That's why I said when someone was like, are you busty or hippie? Should you, should you go towards that? No, just stay in your normal size. It will accommodate bust. It will accommodate hip. If you're between or not curvy, go down. Um, and then some of you may be able to fully size down on this if you know you do want it more shapely to your body. Um, if that's a personal, personal preference. Okay. Carly saying, Carly, they have a big ask for you. If you'll try to put on a medium, we'll see if we can, we can pull that up. They're probably already in their next change, you guys. Okay. So tall boots look great. Leggings would be great. Throw on the jacket, throw on a denim jacket over this, throw on, I just said throw on a denim jacket. I can throw on a denim jacket. You could layer this up with a scarf. Okay. You could do a tall boot. You could do a pair of leggings. You could do a booty. Look at how great, okay? Doesn't that just look, it looks nice, classy. I mean, it's the black dress, the little black dress you need for winter, okay? <laughs> Basic little black winter dress. That's probably what we should have called it. Okay, can I move on? Any other questions? I feel like I'm talking and I'm gonna miss my flight. Um, next is the, uh, oh, denim jacket. What were we just talking about? I'm gonna keep my dress on if we talk about this. Okay, this is the denim jacket that I, <laughs> My team and I have been working so hard to create. We have not made a denim jacket. This is not our ultimate denim jacket. This is not our black vintage wash denim jacket. This is not our, are those the only two denim jackets we've ever created? I have been working so hard to figure out how we can get drape and hang. Look at this. This is a super soft, okay, it's a soft wash. It's done through a washing process that just, this is like, feels like you have owned it and worn it and washed it like eight bazillion times. And it's just like not constricting, not, doesn't, doesn't even, I have, oh my gosh, I can't even, hold on. Let me see if this helps to do it this way. Okay. It literally, when I, when I want a jacket, when we talked about this in the beginning, I don't like confining. I don't like tight. I want something that just drapes and hangs on my body. That's what this jacket is. It does not compare. It's not our ultimate. Ultimate's great. Ultimate stays close to your body. You use stretch in it. This little guy just hangs and falls. Can you tell, can you tell at how just drapey, like it just falls. You don't, it does still have, it has a little bit of stretch, okay? Here, I'll show it to you this way, okay? <laughs> It still, it still has the, the uh, stretch in it, but its material is like the softest drapiest deconstructed down in terms of um, it's no stiffness, no crispiness, no, it, it is like, uh, it's good. It is finally, I'm like, when this finally, when this finally came in and finally got here, I was like, we did it, you guys. This is, it took forever to figure it out, but we got it. Okay, so it's an oversized type fit in terms of you don't really need to use the stretch in it. It just kind of sits and hangs on your body. There's no fighting anything in this. This is size extra small, okay? Nice long sleeves. Obviously, I have it over. Got long sleeves inside of it too. You can button it up. It has... Um, the shaping here, a little bit at the waist, 
and through the back. Raw hem here on the bottom, but it stay stitched at the bottom, so it doesn't, it won't, um, it won't fray any more than that. Pockets here, and yes, was it back? Who was who asked? Rebecca. So we do have the magic cell phone pocket in both the sides in here. Okay, we were able to do it in this um, this type of this type of design. So both sides have the longer uh, deep pocket you can drop because these pockets are not the deepest. That's where you kind of get the feeling of oh, if I sit down, is the phone gonna fall out of that? So I would say if you're if you are between sizes go down in this. I'm between extra small and small and I go down to the extra small in this. Um, some people may be able to size down a full size. Um, it might get a little bit tight on you if you do that. So maybe stay in your normal size um, and less between and then I'd go down. But really nice. Have a little bit of shaping there through the waist. Um, nice light wash. Okay. Uh, you guys will, you guys will love this one. You'll really love this one. Um, Renee, yes, yeah, so it's like a, that's a great way. She's like, does it look like a chambray? It's not chambray, it's true denim, but we washed it down so far to get more of that drape like a chambray would have. But it's much thicker than a chambray. It's not chambray, but um, it is it is denim. <laughs> but it's gonna feel and hang more like a chambray or like a tencel, okay? More, more like a tencel um, as far as like drape and hang and feel. That's a good way to put it. Um, than like a stiff or, you know, confining type of jacket. Okay, let's bring the girls out. I am doing, I'm just talking way too much, you guys. So I have to speed up. Okay, <laughs> Kylie and the small, small. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so cute. I just, that is adorable. Graphic tee, she's got the little suede joggers on. Just threw this on. You can roll up the sleeves if you want. I mean, this is like closet staple, you guys, and you will you will be like okay yeah this is a denim jacket that doesn't exist in my closet it literally is that that material is that good so stay in a normal size and less between then i would go down otherwise i think it has that nice easy relaxed fit in your normal size too okay kylie in small and then carly in large mm -hmm. guessing okay so cute graphic tee she's got the leather like joggers on super cute you guys i can think of like 800 million things you would throw this denim jacket on with okay really easy nice easy fit is that the size that you prefer yeah, yes yeah. nice and drapey oh yes. it does come tacked um in the wash process look what i pulled out of my pockets okay <laughs> consider it lucky okay there are stones that go through the wash process to uh get this type of feel and we try to tack have them tack the pockets so they don't sneak in there so you do need to take a little um scissors that's why she couldn't stick her hands yeah. in her pockets okay and you do need to untack the stitches to, to use your pockets here on the side okay and then michelle in this one um jocelyn's asking if kylie can wear the extra small kylie can you can you try that um, girls, if you want to ask these questions too on our VIP page, it might help there because I'm trying to go fast so I don't miss my flight. <laughs> okay, Michelle in her normal size, extra large, again, comfortable, just easy, drapey, nice, nice um, feel and wash on this. Okay, all right. If, if, if I can't get them out here because I can't, I can't miss my flight, <laughs> um, ask our VIP page and we'll try to get some pictures to see if they can wear those sizes in there too. Okay, but I see your question, Jocelyn, about asking Kylie. Okay, next. Um, soft wash denim jacket, finally, premium, hold on, hold on, one second, where is my, where is my pants, ah. premium designer denim, I've only been waiting what feels like, um, my entire life to launch these to you guys, because, um, hold on, I'm going to try to tuck in my shirt so you can actually see these best, I'm going to take off my sweater, okay, um, I have been working on, we have been working on this denim for so, so long. And I feel like I can't short the story, but I'm looking at the clock behind me and feel like I need to short the story. Um, here's the thing. This type of denim, this is a thick, thick denim. This is what's in style. This is what the trend is. If you were to go buy any sort of mom jean, any sort of wide leg jean, um, from any brand or retailer that is stiff. Okay. Um, not stretchy okay it is made out of this type of very thick okay look at how you can really really see the twill work in here this type of yarn i had to go all the way to pakistan okay 
to go to the best sourcing yarn in the entire world. The story is actually miraculous how this happened and Amanda could tell it too. It is literally miraculous how we were able to get this factory to work with us because they only make the smallest amount of orders they make. The smallest quantity they make is 60,000 pieces and I'm not making 60,000 pairs of these jeans. Anyways, they loved our story. They love what we do in India, in Nepal, in our safe homes and in our orphanages. And the owner of the factory was said he would do it for us. Okay. I, they were the only people, the only factory that I was able to find in the entire world that was able to take that trendy, okay, thicker denim and put stretch with it. Okay. That is what makes these literally the miracle jean. In order to get a jean, if you were to go anywhere, I'm going to talk about the rise in a second. We did this really nice dip rise on it, which is the trend narrowing at the waistline. Okay. Higher in the back, higher rise in the back, flatter in the butt pockets. Okay. If you were to go anywhere in the world <laughs> and try to get a jean that looks like the trend jeans, they're not gonna have stretch. They're gonna be stable and they're gonna be like either tighten your waist or tighten the hip or tighten the thighs, tighten the butt, okay? This gives you that look of those jeans, but they have stretch. They're comfortable. You will live in this material. So you get that trendy look, two washes in this. This is the lighter wash with the slit knee. Then, ah, then we offer the darker wash, which is solid and no distressing. Okay, this is our new premium de premium denim. And to be frank and completely honest with you, this factory laughed at me when he they said they, I needed to charge $160 for this pair of jeans. That's what he said is comparable to his the jeans that they make at their factory for other brands if they were to try to do what we did and put stretch in this material, okay? I'm not doing that to you. <laughs> I'm giving you the best price I can absolutely can, but it is absolutely worth, these jeans are worth every penny. If you loved Mel's favorite jeans, introducing Mel's new favorite jeans for the winter time. So this has a knee slit. We did do stitching around the knee slit, so you're not gonna break or rip anymore, which is also a problem with traditional <laughs> mom jeans on the market, okay? You're gonna rip and tear through all that stuff that doesn't have stretch. You've got the comfortable stretch. We do have the stay stitch for no more ripping. We did the height that's perfect for wearing with booties. Here's the trend, you guys. This is the thing. This is the wider leg jean that you want to sit down on top. You want these to sit. Now I know everyone has a different inseam. We're gonna talk about that in a second. You want these to hit at the top of your booty. That's the trend. That's the style. You wanna be cool. Oh, okay, I see you, Sierra. Okay, no, you're good. <laughs> you wanna go, go back to me. You want this to fall and hit. Now, I know that everyone's a little bit different than you and team. You can, it comes double rolled tacked like this. This is how it comes. I untacked mine. It's just tacked here on the side and tacked here on the side. So you can gain more length if you need, okay? Um, or, then back me up, Sarah, you can see. You can get a longer length if you need a longer length, okay? So whether you wear this with sneakers, whether you wear these with, um, flats whether you wear these with boot with booties you kind of can control and get a little bit different it is a finished hem at the bottom when you do untack it so we gave you a little bit of play i know you guys are saying i'm super tall i need longer i'm short i need shorter if you're shorter the good news is you can get this hemmed or you can chop them off if you want to chop them at a different length but we tried to give you a little bit of play here um in that length if you wanted to go up or down or needed a little bit of length but it does come um, double rolled like you saw and tacked okay so fit wise these were designed part of this is designed after Mel's favorite jeans they do not fit or feel like Mel's favorite jeans in terms of the materials completely different this is a warm thick okay thick denim it's made to have that mom kind of style and look we did a dip rise on that super flattering where the side rise and the back rise, can you guys see, is, is a higher rise than a front. This is what kind of draws this. This still, this is not a low rise. This just sits right at the base of my belly button. Um, so I'd still say it's like a mid, mid to high, but you come higher at that side, which really gives like the narrowing effect here at the waist. Okay. Um, so this sits at the, oh, Mel's favorite. Okay. Many people were able to size down in Mel's faves, in my faves. In fact, I 
think I own all twos. I think I can wear the fours, but I prefer the twos. I don't size down in these. These are fours. This is my true to size four. This is a little bit more, um, they don't relax a ton. They relax a tiny bit, but not a ton, where Mel's was a little bit more of a looser fit. So stay in your normal size in these. If you size down in Mel's because you found your size to be too big for you, I would still, I would stay in your normal size in these. So if you're between sizes, sometimes I can be a two, sometimes, most of the time I'm a four. Some styles I can do a two in. I'm staying with my four in these. And I stay with my four, ah! the darker wash i don't know why that keeps falling as well the darker wash runs a hair smaller just a hair tighter um but not enough for not enough for um me to or i think anyone to go necessarily in a different size than that it's just a little bit more snug and they do relax just a tiny bit with wear but i wouldn't do your mel's if you size down from your normal size in mel's faves i wouldn't do that in these i would stay in your normal size in these okay Okay, <laughs> Kathleen says, let your dad know we're still buying your jeans with holes in them and we love them, okay? I like the slit in these, you guys. I think it's not because it's not a distress, like heavy distress, but honestly, these don't move. That's what's so great about wearing these. You have, like they have stretch and they're never coming down from the waist because your knee kind of creates that um, mobility in the bend. And then it won't fray anymore because we stay stitched around that whole thing. So it just kind of just stays as a slit, okay? Let's bring the girls out. I'm gonna try to stop talking. Okay. <laughs> um, back, how about the black tool joggers? Um, it's hard to compare to those, but yes, I would say the black, what size you wear in the black tool joggers would be the size that you wear in these. I would say, if you're sometimes two sizes in our denim, okay, go with your upper size. Don't go with your Mel's. Try not to compare to Mel's denim because I think a lot of people size down in that. I would not wear the two in these. I can get into the two in these, but then I lose, I lose this, this like trendy, looser leg. I get too curvy through my hips and like this is the look. You want this kind of like, like stay on your body and give yourself a little bit of that loosey. It's like you're not, if I were to go down to a two, I'm too tight and then I lose this look that I love. Okay. All right. Let's bring some people out. <laughs> okay. oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I really have to go so bad. Okay. Um, Kylie wears a six in almost all of her denim mm -hmm. and she wears a six in these. Mm -hmm. Did you feel, you feel like the darker, just a hair tighter, but you yes. still wear a six in them, yes. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So unless you're like really using a lot of stretch in your normal size then that'd be the only reason to go up one in the the dark but you you won't you won't notice a ton a ton of difference there's just a little bit of a hair of difference so stay in your normal size if you're between sizes go with your upper size <laughs> and they look and feel fabulous i love them they're that thick trend okay you're gonna get these and they're not gonna be like anything else you have in your closet from us we have never done this type of thicker denim before great for the winter great for transitioning seasons Really, really nice. Okay, size six was her normal size. Carly's in these two. Okay, throw it on the plant. I mean, you guys know there's a million ways to wear, ways to wear these, but you can cuff more. You can uncuff based on your inseam. You could cut these off. You can, if you uncuff them all the way, there is a finished edge at the bottom um, of both of them. So it does look just completely normal if you uncuff those all the way. And then are these 10s or 12s? These are 12s. Okay. I did size up. I like my jeans. Okay, yes, so she's, this is a great scenario. You, between a 10 and a 12, and she's going with a 12. I can sometimes wear twos. I don't go with the twos. I'm going with the fours in these. So if you're sometimes, then go with your upper size in these, okay? Okay. I do mostly Carly hip shape. How do I? Um, again, guys, go with your normal size. Go with your normal size. Um, my, I stayed in my normal size for Mel's favorites. If you stayed in your normal size, from, then I do that same size in these. Yep. Okay. Um, how do they compare to girlfriends? Girlfriends are totally different. One, they're a lower mid-rise than this. Two, the yarn is completely different. <laughs> it is not this thick. Can you guys see? Can maybe, maybe I'll, let me see if I can bring this up again. You can see in the twill. Okay. Can you tell how just really thick? This is like, when you think of like, I hate to say it, like old school Levi's or Wranglers or something like that. I know those are two like <laughs> crazy comparisons. It's that same like thickness of old school denim, but we have stretch in it. That is what this factory, I'm telling you, I scoured the world and 
God got, brought me a miracle in, a, in this factory allowing us to do these, okay? That we put that stretch in it. So you get that look and feel of what's on trend with the denim, but you have the comfort of the stretch, which nobody does. Trust me, okay? Okay, um, and then who else do we have? Michelle, <laughs> okay? Um, so again, if between, she's in 16, her normal size. If between two sizes, go with your upper size. Um, if you're at the top, top end, if your upper size is sometimes tight on you, then in the blue, you might, the darker wash, you might want to go up one more, but otherwise most of us can't feel the difference in those. Okay. Okay. Jessica, they're soft. Okay. They're not stiff. So the reason you get stiff denim in a large twill like this is because of the fact that it doesn't, they're, they're, they're one, they're going 100% cotton. They're not washing it out at all. So we still get the softness factor, but you get all the look of the trend um, in the jeans with that thicker twill. So it's not like the Levi stiffness, okay? It, you have the thickness and the stiffness, which creates the structure and the visual appeal, okay? Um, but you get all the stretch and uh, comfort in these with sitting back closer to your body, which makes them comfortable to be in. Okay, Stephanie's like, Carly isn't in your measuring guide. I know Carly is our videographer and she steps in <laughs> <laughs> when she can and so I'm sorry she's not on there if she's gonna be on here more we'll see if she'll be willing to get on there I know that'd be helpful to you guys because um when Natalie's not here she steps in for Natalie when Nat Natalie's not here okay Holly these do not compare at all to the mom jeans the free jeans not at all okay that was a thinner twill that had no stretch <laughs> that isn't anything like this one this is thicker it has the stretch, but made to fit really um, trend on with, with the trend on, on your body, okay? Um, if I'm usually smaller of my two sizes, unless they run tight. Um, Jessica, what sizes are you, what jeans are you a smaller size in and a larger size in? Maybe that will help. Um, Holly, uh, where's the four in these? Um, and Sophia might, uh, might be the six. Um, I'm not sure on that one, but I know Holly would be, um, would wear the four in these too. Okay. Um, you, Jessica, if you can tell me or tell the VIP page, it'll make sure the girls are helping out there. Cause if, um, when you say you're usually the smaller of your two, then I'd probably say if you're usually the smaller of your two, you're probably, will be okay. We just don't, you really don't want to size down in these. Um, they run very true to size. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on these? I literally have to catch a plane and I'm still not done. <laughs> okay, two washes in that. Last up is the, our corded, corduroy, do we call it corduroy? Skirt in um, a camel color. So true corduroy, but a little bit of stretch. This is not the shiny fake category, <laughs> shiny fake corduroy that is shiny and fake and does not look good. It offers a lot of stretch and comfort, but it does not look good. It looks cheap, okay? We wanted this true corduroy, micro corduroy look, okay? Um, we have the fun detail pockets, buttons all the way down. We have an interior waistband in this because this material doesn't offer a ton of stretch. It has a little bit of stretch. The only upside to the fake corduroy um, is that it offers a lot more stretch than this, but this does have a little bit of stretch in it. Um, we did buttons, functional buttons all the way. No, not functional buttons, buttons all the way. Functional from here up. We wanted you to not feel like you were gonna pull or be worried about pulling this open. So this, these are actually fake. The three bottoms are fake um, because, see, sewn closed, okay. Um, we didn't want you to feel like, like you're gapping or anything like that if you're using a lot of the stretch. But the first three up at the top are actual functional buttons at the top. And then it has the hidden interior elastic on the inside. This is just to help give added, okay, so it sits um, smooth. If you were gonna tuck this into a shirt or tuck a sweater into this, so you don't have like gap back or anything at the back. That's what that interior elastic helps for. And then it has the fun kind of, you know, school pockets here, right here. So functional, um, I would say for the fit of this, I prefer the size two. So I do size down in this. It's a little bit snug in my waist um, in the two, but I like the way that it fits my hip better. So based on your measurements, just I would actually use your measurements for this one for a hip measurement. You might be narrower in your hip if you carry 
weight in your waist, you might, you definitely don't want to size down in this one, stay in your normal size. So I can wear the four, the four is just fine. And I feel like you guys are gonna really need to see these on me. So I might have to call Polly out to come take the show while I put, while I put these on. Polly, can, I mean, Kylie, can you do that? Do you mind? Kylie, come out, you ready? Um, she's in, are you in four or six? I am in the six. Okay, which is her true size. So yes. almost everyone is staying in their true size in these. You guys know me that mm -hmm. I don't love, um, I would rather have things a little bit closer to my hip than mm -hmm. farther off my hip. That's just what I've always been with everything. So I do go down to the two, but I can only do that um, since my... I'm really kind of like the only one who size, who who's able to size down. And it is snug in the waist for me to go down, mm -hmm. but not too snug. Okay, so this is two. You're in six. So normal yes. size. My normal size, oh, yes. Hotness today. Okay, super cute. Look, love it with the stripes. Look at how cute with the new denim jacket. Whether you put style this nice and classy and dressy and put a sweater over it, um, wear it going out, date night, workplace, or put leggings underneath this, black leggings or tights or tall boots. You can dress this up or make it as much of like a daily wear um, in terms of like a dressy daily, daily wear as you want to, okay? So uh, six on her. So two on me. Um, I prefer this for my hip. Sorry, my um, tank is kind of rolled up on, underneath here. So I do go down um, in this one, but most people um, aren't going down. I got a little bit snug in my little bit snugger in my waist um, going down, but it's not too bad. And I prefer this um, fit in my hip. Okay, so two and then Carly. <laughs> okay, ah, so cute. Okay, this the uh, crochet uh, cami. Crochet trim cami. Yes, mm -hmm. cute. And then a cardi over that, and she's got the shorter boots on. You could do tights, you could do leggings with this, you could do a taller boot, okay? You could do a taller tan boot, you could do whatever. But that's a really cute, super cute outfit. And is that large? Yes. Okay, yes. normal size large, okay? Super cute. And um, I don't have any grace and lace. Um, so I did go down to my waist high flare size. I wear the size two in the waist high flares, and I did put the two on in this. But I'm kind of the only one who was <laughs> the only one who was who was able to do that. Um, if my hip was any bigger, I would have to go to the four, and the four is more comfortable on me um, in the waist. This one isn't too too tight. I definitely still have stretch thanks to the elastic that's in there. Um, and then Michelle's in this one too. I'm oh, I have to talk a million miles an hour. Ah, cute. So just throw a sweater on with it. Hey, she's got the old confetti sweater. If that's on sale, that's perfect with that. Okay, so super cute. Tall boots, looks great. Put leggings with it in the workplace, wear a bl nice black turtleneck with this, would look fabulous, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna try to give some more details on this. The four, I can do, I can go to the four. Let me put the four on to show you. So, for the most part, I would say most people are staying in their normal size, especially if they're like curvier through the hip. And that's why I'm, I maybe suggested going with like your hip or your waist measurement in this. Um, the four gives me more room in the waist. Okay. Nothing's, nothing is snug, but, and actually you can't really tell all that much. I go, I have, it's actually very, <laughs> it's very, it's very comfortable. Um, so I can do the two or the four. I just have more room. I just have a little bit more room in my hips and I preferred that style being a little bit, and I got a little bit longer in length. So I can, between sizes, I can do either. <laughs> I can do a two for a closer to hip fit. I can do a four for a very comfortable and not, not as close to hip, not as close to hip fit. Okay. Um, Deborah says the two looks better on me. Okay, there you have it. Either way, um, both this one's a little, um, a little bit, you know, offers a little bit more um, stretch in the waist, but um, I can do either. In fact, I might wear this. I have to quickly decide what I'm wearing this weekend. Okay, um, the weekend bag, I don't have that with me, that restocked. We sent it out to our restock notify list last week. So hopefully those of you who wanted the weekender, I don't have that one with me. Can someone throw me the weekender bag, Denise? Um, that, um, that restocked and we did not, we had like 900 people on the restock notify list. Thank you, 
so remember this i'm actually this is fully packed ready ready to go to pennsylvania with me if you're waiting for this we do not have very we were not able to make nine nine hundred people on the list so we just have a few left in these for those of you who are waiting for it the holidays gift and this would make a really really nice gift um the compartment has the shoe compartment down at the bottom has all of all of every sort of need you might have in a bag i shove this under my seat in front of me on the airplane my kids i can access anything to the bottom of the bag nothing gets lost i can find anything i want it has a laptop sleeve right here it has all the pockets you need it, it really is the best carry on bag it has this slot right here where you can slip through like your luggage so you can sit this on top of your luggage and your ruler board and there you go okay i really have to sign off <laughs> if you have um if you have more questions about any of these styles please ask our v our facebook vip page um the team there is great and helpful and answer all your questions <laughs> besides doing their normal jobs um so they're super helpful i hope i did a good job describing everything this was a huge launch with a lot to talk about um and a lot to compare to and sizes to talk about so i know i talked your ear off 20 more minutes 30 more minutes longer than i should have um so this um oh someone said this you guys the elastic is what really really helps this not slide okay because it's usually what causes a skirt to like you know when you wear a skirt and you like sit down and then it goes up to here this won't do that because it's actually fitted at your waist what usually causes a skirt to do that is when there's a gap back or it's not fitted at the waist and then it tries to climb or move to a smaller area in your body when you sit but because we put that elastic in there that causes this to stay here at your waist okay okay i'm signing off i'm hopping on a flight i will not be able to do my try on stories <laughs> normally i do them right after this or if i have a meeting right after that uh, i'm literally hopping on a flight so i'm bringing <laughs> these items with me to Pennsylvania and hoping that between my kids playing with their friends and us in between activities with our friends that I'll be able to do some try on stories there I can't I they're not going to be as complete and accurate and they're not going to be tonight <laughs> so um at, if you're in if you're questioning or between sizes ask that over on our VIP page hopefully they can help you um they can help reference my sizing and then hopefully sometime this weekend I will try my very best we have a lot of things to go going on this weekend, but I will try my best to do um, the try on stories, but, or replay this video, <laughs> watch it on here. Okay. Okay. That's it. Signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me here on a Thursday. We will be back next week, probably back to the Friday, depending on when shipments coming in. This was a, a stretcher for the team to get everything um, off the pallets and off the containers and everything in time for a Thursday. So usually we need that extra day. So likely Friday of next week. We'll see you, but have a great uh, rest of your week and a great weekend. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.